This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at isotopes used in nuclear medicine. Isotopes used in nuclear medicine include technetium 99M, lutetium 177, yttrium 90, iodine 131, and lead 212. Lead 212 is used in targeted alpha therapy, which was covered in a previous video. Yttrium 90 and lutetium 177 undergo beta minus decay and are used in targeted radionuclide therapy. In these two equations, we can see the beta minus decay of yttrium 90 and lutetium 177. Note that the mass number stays the same and the atomic number increases by one. So next we look at an example. Yttrium 90 is used in internal radiotherapy to treat tumors in the liver. Thousands of tiny beads embedded with yttrium-90 are delivered to the tumor in the liver. The blood vessels that sustain tumors are smaller in size than blood vessels that feed healthy tissue. Therefore, the beads get stuck in the smaller blood vessels, delivering radiation directly to the tumor. As a result, side effects are minimized because there is little exposure to healthy surrounding tissue. Technetium-99M is the most commonly used medical radioisotope. It is used as a radioactive tracer for the following reasons. It has a short half-life of 6 hours, which means it decays quickly and minimizes exposure to patient. The low energy emission level is just enough for gamma cameras to detect, therefore the patient is not exposed to high levels of radiation. And the different forms of Technetium-99M means that it can travel to different organs in the body, targeting specific parts of the body. And finally, we look at iodine-131. Iodine-131 is used for the treatment of thyroid disease and certain types of thyroid cancer. It undergoes beta decay according to this equation. Once in the body, it is absorbed in the thyroid gland, where it begins destroying the gland cells. Because gamma radiation is also emitted, Patients should avoid prolonged close contact with others for three to four days after treatment. 